Oh, <laughs> hey y'all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm right back with another video. As y'all can tell from the title, we're gonna be cooking today. We're cooking us some meatloaf, period, mashed potatoes, and I still haven't decided if I want to do peas or corn, but we're gonna we're gonna figure that out together. Yeah, so we're gonna be cooking. Call it cooking with key, period. But uh, yeah, I ain't gonna talk too much because we finna get into this video. Hope y'all enjoy. So the first step, always, never forget it. Wash your hands before you go in the kitchen, especially with coronavirus going on and everything. We don't need to be time for all that. So um, for this recipe, you're gonna need some ground beef, some original townhouse crackers. This is my preferred brand, but they're fire. Got them in here. You're gonna need three eggs. I already cracked them in the bowl. You're gonna need onion, bell pepper. I did a whole bell pepper and half an onion, but the bell pepper that I had was really small. So honestly, if you have like a bigger bell pepper, I would just do half. And then all the seasonings I'm gonna be using. So today I'm gonna be using seasoning salt, garlic powder, pepper, onion powder, Slap your mom with the hot, the hot one. Uh, cayenne pepper and accent salt. So we're just gonna start out with seasoning. So we're gonna open it all up so I don't have to keep, you know, getting meat and stuff all over the tops. Okay. So honestly, I don't measure seasonings. I just eyeball. I'm gonna put it over here so that I can see a little bit. I just eyeball, so that's cool for me. Got to preheat our oven it's right here we preheating to 350 so start wait bake start okay so and then we're gonna go ahead and pour our eggs in and then for the crackers honestly i just break them over you know as i do it so break the crackers into the meat and the the whole mixture because this is what's going to help bind it. Most people, or not most people, some people use bread. Some people use bread crumbs. Some people use other types of crackers. I use butter crackers. They're fire. So, yeah. I'm going to speed this part up, obviously. Okay, I'm going to just crack crackers. Crack crackers. Crack crackers. it out before regardless if I know it's clean my mom always taught me that growing up so you just want to bind all the ingredients with your hands mix it all in you can use gloves or you can use something else if you don't want to use your hands but I highly suggest you just use your hands and get over it because that's the best way to mix it Cause I ain't got no freaking cameraman, but it's cool. Coming soon. I'm gonna be rich in a little bit, and I'm gonna hire one. 
I used to have a loaf, a, like a loaf pan, but honestly, the loaf pan, it shapes it like banana bread. I like shaping my own meatloaf. Like it's convenient, but I'd rather shape my own. Got some onion bell peppers that's trying to get out. No, sir. I don't um, put a time on this either. Like I don't set a timer or anything. I eyeball everything. So I'm not gonna put a timer on it, but I will let y'all know how long I kept it in there for once I figure it out, once it's all done and stuff. Cause you can, you can tell if it's done. You can also like take off a piece of it and see if it's done or not. So yeah, this is all for the meatloaf. You wanna make sure that you cover it so it does not be dry. You do not want it to be dried out, trust me. Don't nobody want to dry meatloaf. Come on now. So make sure you cover it real good. Don't leave any sides open. Our oven is ready. It just beeps. And we're going to stick this in here. And I will be back when it's time to make the sides. All right, y'all. So I'm back. It's been about an hour and like 20 minutes since I put the meatloaf in. I checked on it. It's good. I'm going to leave it in there for just a little bit longer. So right now we're going to get started on the sides. I'm making mashed potatoes and I decided I'm going to do peas. So <clears throat> I already cut up the potatoes and washed them and I got some water here. So I'm just throwing them in here. And put it on high and honestly I eyeball that as well. I take a fork and if it feels like it's done, like it breaks apart, um, like it's done, when like the potato is soft, that's how you know it's done. And then, um... We're gonna go ahead and put our peas in the pot. I ain't got no cameraman, so we're just gonna have to improvise. And I'm holding it. So, a little bit more butter. And then we're gonna add us in some. Some sugar and I'm gonna put it on medium heat and let it just cook for like I don't know um probably like 15 <sighs> god bless me excuse me I'm telling y'all the seasoning but um about 15 20 minutes for that and then I'm gonna check the potatoes and then I'll be back now we're gonna go ahead and get started on our sauce <clears throat> for the sauce you need sweet baby rays this original barbecue sauce ketchup and hot sauce are the three that I use so I would probably say two parts barbecue one part ketchup and like a few dabs of hot sauce yellow see so and then ketchup And this is the sauce that I use for my meatloaf. So you just put it on the top on the sides and you want to let it bake again. So I'll probably let it bake probably another five to 10 minutes. Just checking on it, making sure everything's cool. So it's been an hour and like 30 minutes and this is the meatloaf after. And it had a little bit of oil on it. I poured it off, but now I'm about to put the sauce on here and I'll be right back. So now we're just going to spread our sauce that we just put together on the meatloaf all around. Yeah. Like that. Um, around here, we scrape, we scrape bowls clean. Period. Period. Yeah, you just want to evenly do that 
And then on this part, I like the sauce to cook on there. So I don't put a um, oil or not oil. I don't put foil or like a, a cover or anything. I just let it cook. So five to 10 minutes, put it back in the oven and I'll show you how it looks when it comes out. All right, y'all. So it's been a good like 10 minutes since the meatloaf been back in there with the sauce. And Longer or no, I think that's good. All right, so this is the meatloaf after it's got the sauce and everything, and it went back into the oven. Our potatoes, how are y'all doing? Are almost the potatoes. I forgot to tell y'all because y'all don't even know. First of all, these potatoes was imported straight from us, like in Idaho. Um, these peas. I snapped them by myself, like at, at my garden, literally. And then this meat was uh, imported straight out of Italy. So, honestly, y'all not messing with me, period. Rich bitch shit. Don't want to hear it. All right, so yeah, these potatoes probably got like literally three more minutes on them. So let's get us a bowl, because we're going to make, or we're going to mix our potatoes. This is going to be our bowl that we're going to be mixing our potatoes in so we're gonna put some butter in our potatoes i switched over to almond milk recently so we're gonna be using almond milk um unsweetened almond milk um uh, again garlic powder pepper and accent are the only seasonings we're gonna be using for these so and our peas are doing good i mean peas you can really take them off whenever their peas, they're already, um, what's it called? Processed, it was canned. Well, technically they were snap peas from my garden, but they were canned, or they were canned. So yeah, we're gonna cover our meatloaf back up so it does not get cold. All right, y'all, so the potatoes are done. So I got me a strainer, I'm about to strain out the water and then we're gonna mix us up some taters for them haters. Mix them tigers for them haters. Period. So we're just gonna put it in our bowl. Like so. Take us our garlic powder, put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of accent salt. Oops. Some black pepper. Some of our butter. Mm. And then a little bit of milk. Our little potato masher, mash it all together. harshly on her make it look pretty make it look pretty and then so potatoes peas and meatloaf <clears throat> so um, that sums up today's um segment of cooking with key don't forget to subscribe to my channel share me with y'all's peoples you know put them on to my channel make sure that y'all don't forget to like and comment please 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 do me a favor and spam my comments so that they can get my video out there more 
And yeah, don't forget to um, add me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all that, everything, all the socials. I appreciate all the continued support for all the people that do support me. And I love you if you love me. And I will see y'all in the next video.